Hi everyone, it's Kim Vopney, the Vagina Coach, and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about why the EpiNo is no longer available in Canada and the USA. In 2003, I was pregnant with my first child and I was afraid of tearing. My midwives told me about a product called the EpiNo, and after some research, I decided to purchase one. I used it, and after the birth of my first son, I had no tearing, I had a very positive birth experience and I felt like the product played a role in that and I wanted to help others learn about it and know and have an opportunity to use it. So I contacted the company Texana in Germany and I asked if I could become a distributor. There was one other person in Ontario at the time doing it, so there were two of us in Canada who were very small distributors of the product. In 2009, I made this side thing a more uh, established business. I became the Canadian importer and distributor for the EpiNo and was that person until 2018 when Health Canada chose to implement a new licensing procedure for medical devices. So up until then, I held what was called a medical device establishment license through Health Canada and Texana had a license for their medical device through Health Canada. The new protocol that Health Canada was implementing as of 2019 was a lot more costly and it had a lot more hoops for companies to jump through. And Texana made the decision not to go through that process. They did not want to incur the additional costs or the additional steps just for Canada. So Canada chose to make this mandatory and as a result, a lot of companies said it wasn't worth the amount of money they needed to spend and the amount of time they needed to spend to get licensed in Canada and therefore chose to leave the market. So the EpiNo not being available in Canada is nothing to do with safety. Um, it not, Nothing to do with that. It was simply a result of the company saying they weren't prepared to go through the hoops that Health Canada now had established. So. You can help thank Health Canada for no longer having the EpiNo available in Canada. In the United States, the product was uh, licensed through there as well. Um, many, many years ago, there was one woman who had used it incorrectly and she had an adverse event. In, in her situation, the baby was fine, she was fine. However, her uh, doctor, made a complaint to the FDA and the FDA then deemed the device dangerous and they were wanting to classify it at, at, at a, a higher risk, which again meant more cost to Texana and they weren't prepared to incur those additional costs in a very litigious market. So it has not been available in the United States for many, many years for the majority of the time that I was a Canadian distributor actually. So that is the reason why the EpiNo is no longer available in Canada and the United States. There are people who sell it in Europe and people who sell it in Australia. If you happen to know somebody in those parts of the world who could purchase one for you, that might be an option. Or if you were travel to those parts of the world, you may be able to purchase one on your own. However, none of the distributors in other parts of the world can ship to Canada or to the United States. So uh, you cannot order through a distributor. It would have to be somebody purchasing on your behalf and you then either picking it up from them uh, when you travel or them shipping it to you. So that is a quick summary as to why the EpiNo is no longer available in North America. I cannot speak highly enough about the product. It, uh, I feel, I know it played a role in my positive birth experiences, I think that it is something that can benefit so many people. It's not necessarily a tool that will prevent tearing, but rather a tool that will help you connect with your pelvic floor and learn how to engage and release, relax those muscles. It trains your body, it trains your pelvic floor to respond appropriately during birth. It can help reduce fear, it can help increase confidence. We do have some research to support that People who use it have a higher rate of intact perineum, meaning they don't tear. And uh, again, I can't speak highly enough about the product. So the only reason it's no longer here is because of Health Canada. If they had chosen a different route and did not make that a mandatory 
process, then I know that it would still be available and I would still be the distrib distributor. So I hope one day that I will have an opportunity to do so uh, again, but for now, uh, it's, it's the end of the end of an era. So uh, if you can find one, the EpiNo is a fantastic device for preparing for childbirth.